What's up everyone, this is Travis with Fisher Hex. Briefly, I want to show you guys a new version of the filter sock that I use and that I make for my clients here. Now I'm using a better sewing machine, much better than the one that I actually had in the DIY filter sock video. Uh, you get what you pay for, that's just how it is. Well anyways, I uh, this one actually does a cross stitch pattern that is very, very strong. And uh, the filter sock is definitely, definitely stronger than it was. Um, and since I'm selling these to people now, I want them to be better quality and I want it to last longer. So. I had to, you know, had to upgrade my sewing machine just to make sure the quality was there. Anyways, I also added this string so you can either hang it up by it or you can pull tight to tighten it around the pipe, whatever you so choose. But, I, but either way, it works out great. I have a stack here. I'm just in the middle of making them. I wanted to share with you guys the actual filter sock itself and the process in which I make it. It's about the same as the other one. I just a couple more steps have added because I had to add that string there. Either way, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing I want to do is make the lip on the filter sock, so we're just going to fold over this, get it underneath the machine here. Alright. Do our first stitch. Just so much better, this machine. Slow down a little bit. All right, pull up. Cut off any extra. All right. All right, so that's basically the lip ready to go. Now what we gotta do is we have to get this string, and I'm here, this nylon string through it. So what I like to use, I'm using a hard line of, uh, or hard piece of um, airline tubing here. I've got a couple notches in it. and allows it to actually hold onto the string get this through all right pull the excess through whatever length you want we're just gonna cut it okay fold over make sure the string is even or as close to even as you can all right now we're gonna do the last stitch Very touchy, that's for sure. Coming to the corner here. We'll slow down a little bit. the extra and of course I you can if you so choose to but I like to cut off the uh, excess here personal preference plus it looks a lot neater of course you want to get your straggly strings here that's the word you want to use that's kind of a weird world word we got one more all right I'm gonna take our double string here a knot in it. Cut off the extra. We're good to go. Now I got an order for about a hundred of these sitting on my desk right now that I gotta get done. As you can see it takes it doesn't take too long to make them but it is manual labor to a certain extent. Um, but yeah guys these are for sale on the Fish of Hicks Hex Facebook page. If you want if you want them or you're interested in them just contact me directly and we'll figure out an order. I'll invoice you through PayPal, all that good stuff, and we'll just figure out how many you want. Right now, I sell them for two fifty dollars each. Uh, that's what I sell my clients. But if you're going to buy a bunch of them, we can work out a, a bulk price for sure. All right. So anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Go to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.